Welcome back to another video, everyone. So today I wanted to take a look at all of the ships in Star Citizen that have a dedicated hangar or landing pad. Recently, there have been some leaked footage of the Idris in uh, Star Citizen from the Pipeline Discord. And it kind of goes and does a full walkthrough of the ship and its hangar, okay? Uh, at the same time, we are also hearing rumors of uh, the, the Polaris moving along in its development pretty well. So a lot of people are speculating that we might get both these massive ships uh, by the end of this year. Again, the Idris is technically supposed to drop uh, with uh, Squadron 42. Okay, that's what CIG said in their presentation. Uh, but who knows? CIG might decide to release it sooner at the end of the year uh, as a part of some special sale, kind of like what they did with the F8. Uh, right now, the F8 is also available again. There's another golden ticket event running. So CIG's marketing team and sales department might, you know, pull a rabbit out of the hat and do something different. We really don't know uh, what their plans are at the end of the day, so uh, we can only speculate. But the reason why I wanted to take a look at these ships is because uh, there's also a lot of speculation around us getting Pyro, okay? CIG is shooting for, uh, you know, having 4.0 release around summertime this year. And even if it get, gets pushed back, um, uh, the hope is that we get it sometime this year, okay? So if that is the case uh, and we are able to actually transport vehicles from Stanton to Pyro, there might be some gameplay loop around that, uh, giving us a uh, ability to kind of test out that gameplay, see what it's like. So... Uh, yeah, I wanted to take a look at these ships in today's video. Now, the ships that I'm going to be taking a look at are ships that have dedicated landing pads or dedicated hangars. Um, because it, the one thing that we don't know is if CIG is going to implement some type of resource system for ships that have dedicated hangars and landing pads versus large cargo ships like the Caterpillar and the C2. Because technically, the Caterpillar and the C2 can hold ships inside of it and transport them using their cargo grid. This will technically also include ships like uh, the Hull C, which uh, CIG has showed ships being attached to its cargo grid fins, you know, those plates on the outside that are traditionally used to attach uh, cargo containers, CIG says in the future that they will also be able to have ships attached to them. But again, this is primarily for transport purposes, okay? And uh, again, a cargo ship like the, the Caterpillar and the C2 and even um, the Hull C will be able to carry them but not uh, sustain them in a way that a ship that has a hangar or landing pad would. Again, we don't know what kinds of facilities CIG will enable for this. They've kind of gone back and forth uh, around their intention of that. Um, a lot of members of the community initially assumed that the, the difference between a cargo ship and a ship that has dedicated landing pads and hangars is that a ship with a dedicated landing pad and hangar would have facilities to maintain the ship, uh, an ability to essentially refuel them and do some light repair work. Now, the repair work will be manual. Uh, CIG has recently released a larger version of the repair tool. Um, of course, you have the multi-tool, which is the absolute entry-level version of that, but the dedicated repair tool 
uh, I believe it's currently not balanced, so it doesn't do a significantly better job at repairing ships than the multi-tool, but I believe in the future it will be balanced, so um, you'll kind of be able to tell the difference between the two devices a little bit better. But um, this tool is supposed to be used in conjunction if you have a ship in your hangar or uh, or on your landing pad for you to repair it. Uh, but that is not really an advantage for a ship that has a hangar or landing pad. So right now it's kind of looking like perhaps the only advantage is refueling. Now a lot of these ships, uh, a lot of fighters and whatnot have refueling ports down below and it can refuel from above with uh with uh the refueling ship uh the starfarer so right now if cag releases a refueling method that's kind of like a you know refueling canister that would really kind of change this conversation a little bit to the point where if you can refuel your ship with um a a, a canister you could honestly land on any of the cargo ships like the C2 uh, and refuel with the canister and repair with the repair tool. Now, if there's some type of hole situation where you can refuel this fighter out of your main tanks or if you have refueling tanks dedicated on these ships to do that, then that gives these ships some type of advantage, okay? But for now, we're going to look at couple of the sizes here uh we have extra small we have ships that have an extra small hanger we have ships that have a small hanger and then we have the ships that have a medium hanger okay and so what i kind of did was i i got out a ship designed specifically for these hangers to kind of show scale here and in both the Carrick marketing and Galaxy marketing, it shows the extra small hanger uh, able to hold a C8 Pisces, okay? So uh, a ship in this size range can fit inside of either of these two ships here, okay? And for, let me kind of zoom out here a little bit. For a ship in the small hangar size, which is uh, the most common hangar size for ships in Star Citizen, I have the Gladius, and you can kind of see here for scale, um, especially with the Polaris, the Polaris has uh, a rather large uh, small hangar, and you can see it with the, the, the various ships here, that it is designed the, the Gladius, uh, kind of the, the ship metrics, okay, that we're working with. And then, of course, for the medium-sized hangers, I have the C1, because the C1 is probably the widest uh, medium ship that, you know, you're probably going to have. So we can take a look at it, its scale, and you can see here, the C1 fits pretty nicely on these medium landing pads here. It doesn't look like you'll have any problem landing a C1 on the Kraken. Again, these scales aren't 100% accurate, but we just kind of know, you know, the size of the ship based on, uh, you know, how many meters long and how many meters wide it is. You can see here with the javelin, it doesn't seem like uh, the C1 is going to be any issue uh, landing in a javelin. And again, if you have something like uh, an A1, uh, you can launch the A1 out of the, uh, the javelin and uh, go on some kind of bombing one. Then we have the Bengal. Now, we don't know what size landing pads or um you know how big the the landing region is on the bengal the bengal is a very large ship but it has a medium opening 
So you can uh, launch something like an A1 out of a Bengal. You uh, will be able to, uh, you know, do that. Now, the Bengal is just here for reference because obviously uh, the Bengal is not a purchasable ship in Star Citizen. Uh, but apparently you will be able to find them. You may be able to, um, you know, uh, add them to your ship collection your fleet somehow uh again cig hasn't gone into a whole lot of detail about that but again the cabot has one extra small hanger the galaxy has one extra small hanger the crucible has one small hanger and this is designed for repair it's not really designed for transport but it is fully enclosed enclosed it has this uh kind of uh box hanger region where the top can open ship can fly in and the repairs can be done the liberator has two small hangers and uh i mean the liberator has two small landing pads one extra small landing pad and then i believe it has on the inside uh two uh, full-size vehicle uh, areas where you should be able to fit um, a small uh, uh, ship okay so if you have uh, four small ships and then one extra small ship the Liberator should be able to hold that now that's a lot of vehicle cargo uh, that's a lot of vehicle transporting uh, capabilities right there the Liberator is a, a very um a very good ship if you're looking for that light carrier okay um so i know a lot of people are going to be interested in that then we have the odyssey okay the odyssey has one small hanger but the 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 difference with the odyssey's hanger is that it is very tall so the odyssey's hanger is is three stories tall so for small ships that have a kind of uh unique design to them or that might be a little bit taller uh the odyssey might be the way to go now we don't again we don't exactly know what the metrics are going to be like because the odyssey is in concept right now uh but again we we do know that the odyssey is three levels uh tall and the hangar goes all the way to the first level then we have the polaris and the polaris uh it's uh, hangar is a little bit more shallow than the Odyssey. Uh, the Polaris's hangar is only one story high. So right now, we really don't know what uh, vehicles are going to fit in here. Um, I know based on its metrics that it might be able to, uh, you know, transport something like um, a Vulture. Uh, because of the size of the hangar, but the problem is that uh, the vulture is quite tall, so we don't know if the doors will be able to close uh, with a ship like that landed inside. But uh, you may be able to fly around with the doors open. Uh, again, it, it's one of those things that we don't really know because the ship's not out yet. Um, but yeah, for taller ships, you're probably going to want to go with the Odyssey. Even though the Odyssey's doors look smaller, uh, technically, it's supposed to be the same size hangar. And then we have the Endeavor Hope. Now, the Endeavor Hope is a specific variant of the Endeavor. But technically, if you buy the base Endeavor and you just want the hangar module, you can get the hangar module and the Endeavor. Uh, but the Endeavor Hope's hangar is designed so you can um, have a, a ship like the Pisces uh, land in here and uh, uh, have the, the, the patient delivered to the hospital. Now, because we don't have a lot of specifics about this hangar, um, I don't know if it is a, in fact a small hanger or an extra small hanger. If you guys know, uh, you know, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what is the actual size of this hanger. Um, the Endeavor came out uh, before the the ship hanger metrics. 
uh, got really finalized. So I'm not sure if CIG has said if this hanger is an extra small hanger or if it's just a small hanger. For now, I have it uh, classed with the ships with a small hanger because it, again, based on the metrics, it just kind of looks like a small hanger. But again, I could be wrong about that. We see the Gladius here. And then we kind of zoom in to uh, the size of this hanger. You see the length here. This is where the opening is. It you know goes from this side to this side. Kind of just the way it looks. It looks like it should be able to fit a Gladius. But again, uh, the only real medical ship that would really fit in this is the... Um, is the Pisces, is the medical Pisces. So that's probably the ship that you're going to want to use with the Endeavor. But again, because the Endeavor is in concept, we really don't know if it's going to grow in size, okay? Right now, the Endeavor Hope is 200 meters long, but that can change because you look at the, the, the bridge here, it looks undersized, in terms of metrics okay again the the Polaris bridge is here it it might be accurate but i don't know you look at the size of uh the the cockpit on the gladius and the bridge on the endeavor they look very close okay in size so i don't know if the endeavor is going to grow in size before it's released i i'm thinking it probably will and then we have the 890 jump okay this is a luxury towing ship it has a hangar here so you know you could land in ships now we don't really have like a luxury transport ship um but i believe it was designed to hold something like um the 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 100i or the no it was designed to hold i believe the 85x Okay, uh, so you can uh, land the 85X in here. And I believe there was some game package where the 85X was sold with the 890 jump. But again, I could be wrong on that. Uh, please correct me in the comments down below if you know for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, designed so you can have like a runabout ship as you're towing. And then of course it has a garage in here for a... Uh, a ground vehicle presumably the g12 so you could have your g12 in the grass and your 85x in the hangar there and then of course we have the merchantman the merchantman was the merchantman's hangar is specifically designed for the banu defender so we really don't know what other ships are going to fit in here but this kind of uh cutout area here is presumably this kind of middle section is presumably where the hangar is and uh cig has kind of shown us what that looks like uh when they went over the last update to that ship and then we have the idris now uh with the leaks that are coming up around the idris it has three small landing pads in its hangar um but of course you could fit a lot more if you have smaller ships like the fury um and if you kind of organize the ships differently uh people are kind of showing that it will probably be able to fit more but again it's designed for three i'm not entirely sure what limitations cig is going to put on that if they're just going to say hey we have three uh landing spots in this hangar but you can put ships anywhere Again, I don't know what the reasoning is for that. I think for right now, it's just for Squadron 42 um, and uh, kind of like law reasons. But because the way that, you know, metrics and uh, physical assets work in the game, you can fit as many as you want to fit in there, uh, you know, as long as it works. And then, of course, the Kraken, this is the primary carrier in the verse it has uh two medium pads 
and i believe these are supposed to be extra small pads but they look more like just regular small pads if i'm being honest with you guys and you know i'm just gonna grab again this is not the most scientific way to do this but i'm just gonna get you know grab the gladius and uh kind of see if it can fit on here and you know based on its size it kind of looks like it should be able to no problem on each of these pads so uh i think realistically you should be able to fit you know two medium ships here and four small ships here and then it has uh i believe two small hangars uh on the on the side of these small these four small landing pads so you have two medium ships that can fit here okay let's just grab uh the c1 again you can fit two medium ships uh four small ships and i believe two extra small ships in the hangars below so that's a lot of transport uh potential that you have with the kraken okay and then of course last but not least we have the javelin uh and it has that single um that single medium uh hanger here and in the the concept artwork for the javelin they kind of showed us a, a a vanguard being launched from this hangar so you can launch a heavy fighter from this ship, uh, Scorpius, um, uh, the new F-8 Lightning, you know, those types of heavy fighters can be launched from here. But then again, of course, you can also do something like an A-1 bomber. And so that might be useful depending on what you're trying to do. And then the Bengal is not available to players. Now, I... I'm not sure if we'll be able to purchase a Bengal in game uh, or if it is just, okay, we, we've captured a Bengal and it's ours now. I don't know because we can capture the, the NPC Idrises in game. Uh, so uh, that's, that's going to be more interesting gameplay in the future because right now the captured Idrises don't really have an interior, uh, but essentially in the future if you capture an idris um it should have an interior i don't know if cag is going to do that i don't know if cag is going to put a full interior on the npc idrises in the future um they do on the other npc ships npc ships in the game so if you run into you know of course the npc reclaimer or the npc 890 jump or you know the npc cutlass they all have interiors so i'm assuming that all of the npc ships in game will have interiors you just go through and you kill the npcs inside you know do some type of boarding mission if you want to control the turrets um because right now the way that situation kind of works is that once you steal the ship the turrets are still operational and the ai you know kind of fights for you so a few more things are going to need to get updated before this, uh, you know, comes out in game. I believe right now, um, there's like a little Argo cargo inside of this ship. Uh, some people have glitched in around it and, uh, gotten to take a look at that, but the Idris is very close to coming out. I'm very excited for this ship. This is a massive ship. Uh, it, it is a large military ship. It has large transport, it, you know, uh, capabilities with those uh three small landing pads inside of its hangar so yeah let me know what you guys think about the the uh the transport ships the hangar ships in star citizen i think these are very interesting ships in the game i think they're going to have a lot of value moving forward as new star systems like pyro and nyx come online um the range of these ships are going to be important the ability to uh transport these smaller ships that don't have you know the same uh, uh jump capacity is going to be interesting and it's also going to be interesting to see how cag handles uh jump points 
and the sizes of them because again nyx has a medium jump point so an idris and javelin coming through that again uh for fleet week what we believe is that the javelin and the idris and the other military ships uh arrive in stanton through either the magnus jump point or the tail jump point which are large jump points and those ships should be able to fit through it but the pyro jump point is a medium jump point and uh i don't know what ships can fit through that i believe it should be ships uh i believe cig might change it to be ships in this class up here uh again the idris this is a capital ship it has capital everything um uh, but, you know, it is able to fit to a medium jump point. And I don't know exactly how CIG is going to handle that. Um, but ships like this are hugely important in star systems like Pyro that are significantly larger than standard. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you guys think of these ships in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Uh, I really appreciate the support on the videos you guys have you know been liking and subscribing like crazy the channel keeps growing and i cannot thank you guys enough but yeah like i said the end of all these videos you guys like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys in the next one salute